Alright, listen up gamers, today we're gonna be doing something fun, and by fun I mean today we're gonna be talking about what your main class that you play in ESO says about you! Alright, listen, um, I don't make the rules, everything in here is 100% accurate, it's been proved by facts, science, and logic and stuff, look at this graph. Right? Dispute with the graph. Don't talk to me and dispute with the graph. Right? And if you're one of those goofballs that's like, oh, I don't have a main. I play all the class. Oh, no, you do. Listen, okay? If you play a class a lot more than all the other classes, or you just vibe with a class more than all the other, that's your main. Right? I don't make the rules. That's your main. Right? So you're just going to have to accept that and embrace it. Okay? So you, you know what that is. Right? I don't need to tell you what that is. You know what it is. Right? And yeah, this is just a fun little project that I'm making for you guys. And if you want to, you can leave your own little list in the comments about what kind of player mains what kind of class if you want and i'll read them and stuff but um again this video is for you guys and it's for fun and we're gonna have some fun so let's get started oh also if you're not a fan of fun um i'm sorry i'm sorry i don't know listen let's start with all you dragonite mains out there all right it's your turn all right none of you are safe i'm gonna get to you guys in a minute but let's start with those dragonite mains You'll find that your average Dragonite main is extraordinarily simple-minded and very, very competitive. They're really one-directional in that sense, because uh, they tend to take things incredibly seriously, and they enjoy winning over having fun because having fun in a video game is kind of cringe. There are some of them that are really chill, and they can be really, really loyal and confident when they want to be, but that confidence can be quite snarky sometimes, and that ends up getting them into a lot of trouble. They enjoy being brawlers, you know, tanks, all the stuff that doesn't really require too much thought. You just sit there, tank, and maybe do a little bit of damage, and uh, yeah, you guys are like supposed to be the bullies of ESO, but a lot of you guys like you have too much confidence and then you end up getting bullied and it's kind of weird, but you could also be the guy that is like, oh, Dragonite is a fire class or a Dragonite, oh, Skyrim, Dragonborn, and, you, and then that's why you're playing DK and you're like, oh, okay, well, I guess I'm just DK now and uh, that's your situation as well. And in that case, uh, you're a role player, but listen, right, DK is kind of simple minded, one directional and they're like, always yes and not a lot of no they're, they're the tough guys of eso basically all right next let's talk about all you sorcerer mains out there all right listen i am a sorcerer main all right so just deal with it um best class best uh you're like the best of all listen uh no okay we're, we're gonna be fair we're gonna be fair i'm a bully myself too all right if you're a sorcerer main you are an adrenaline junkie you love action and you find yourself getting bored very very easily you take unnecessary risks and you also enjoy doing a lot of things by yourself but you tend to have a problem asking people for help okay you're also probably quite straightforward as well, and it doesn't take much for people to figure out who you are and what your intentions are. You're very self-aware as well, um, but you also make incredibly stupid decisions simply because you feel like it, all right? You also have a problem with authority, and you don't like it when people tell you you gotta do something. You're a hardhead, and it's very hard for anyone to change your mind, okay? This is why group leads get mad at sorcerers, because they just don't ever seem to listen, okay? Sorcerers also love to push the limits of what they are capable of doing, and what others are capable of doing, okay? Even if that means pushing the wrong buttons on somebody and making them kind of upset, they like to push limits and experiment with a lot of things, okay? And continuing with the school metaphor, these are the goofballs of the class, okay? These are the guys that are very hard to approach because you don't really know what to expect from them but once you do start to really get to know them they can be some of the greatest friends you'll ever have and if you're a sork main you probably have ju you know just a little bit of adhd okay J just a little bit not a lot maybe a little bit unless you don't then uh, good for you okay that's not even fair next we got our nightblade mains okay you nightblade mains are incredibly good at convincing yourself of something even if it's not true okay and you guys tend to let your emotions get the best of you all right what i mean by that is uh, a lot of it is just feel okay you guys really like to go off of how you feel and not what actually is the case okay and how you feel dictates what you do a lot of the time this does get you into trouble but you're incredibly smart and you can normally figure things out relatively quickly but also um this makes it so you kind of have a problem interacting with other people because you're always convincing yourself that you're right and everyone else is kind of wrong sometimes okay so basically you're the nerd of the class okay you're not as hard-headed as a sorcerer main is because uh, people can change your mind if they present the right amount of things to you but um it is quite difficult for anyone to really understand what's going on because uh, you don't like to make things as clear as you could because you never sit down and really take the time with it unless you're trying to learn something new so and you guys are also really good at picking up on small details okay unless you're not then you're basically a sork main with an identity crisis okay and you just enjoy ganking people more than you do just like playing fast so 
All right, next we got our Templar mains. You guys are opportunists, and you guys tend to be very, very committed, okay? You know what you want, what you're going to do to get what you want, and also where to go and what to look for in order to get what you want, okay? And if you don't, you'll find a way and you'll figure it out, all right? You guys also tend to be very, very sure of what you're doing, and as a result, you guys always find yourself in some sort of leadership position because of that. Because people like knowing that someone knows what they're doing. That kind of good kind of confidence that's not snarky or anything is something people respect a lot and it's something that a lot of people look up to so basically if we're doing a class analogy you are the kid that everyone looks up to in class and you're the guy that everybody respects okay and templar mains are pretty straightforward all right there's not too much that's super complicated about them they're quite easy going and you understand them quite easily because they're very good at conveying things to you in an understandable way all right unless they're not then they're a dragonite with an identity crisis trying to convince themselves that they're a templar but they're really not they're a dk main they're you know who you are and you're weird you know who you are and you're weird and you need to stop cinnamon rolls but yeah if you're a customary templar main then you're a dad no literally you're a dad you you have children okay and even if you don't you you, you will you will all right so next we got our warden mains you guys are basically the drama queens of all the classes you guys like to nitpick and do a lot of complaining about very minor things that don't matter at all everything is super important and even if it isn't you are going to give it an unnecessary amount of attention okay you can be really fun to be around since you can relate to literally anything and everything and you show a deep level of interest in a lot of topics but you tend to be overly defensive and standoffish about the things you really enjoy and you don't really know why you love being around other people though and you get along very very well with almost everybody but sometimes you try too hard to do something and you end up embarrassing yourself you can also be incredibly cringe either intentionally or unintentionally and if you're not any of these then you're secretly a nightblade main who enjoys a lot of role play all right then we got necromancer mains necromancer mains tend to be pretty casual and relaxed individuals and they never seem to have a whole lot going on and they know how to stay focused They'll be very real with you about how they feel, and they'll deliver it in a very strangely comforting way. Well, at least I think that's how they want you to perceive them. I feel like all necromancer mains are hiding something, and they do a phenomenal job of keeping it covered up. I, they probably know a lot of things, but they're very quite secretive about those things, especially to those that they don't know or don't like. They also make things seemingly much more difficult for themselves for absolutely no reason. They always pick option B and not option A, even though option A is like 90 times easier and more effective. These guys default to plan B, and then when that fails, they go back to plan A. Necromancers are basically the quiet kid in the class, or the kid that not a lot of people seem to know a lot about because he never really lets anything go. And if you're not, then you're the emo kid in the class who really enjoys pain listen um all right next we got our arcanist mains arcanist mains are basically all about style and coolness okay these are the cool kids of the class if there's a new trend they're jumping on it if someone else has something that they think is cool and they don't have it they're gonna go and get it okay these guys are always hopping on the bandwagon and following the latest and most recent trends these are also the people that spend way too much time on their phone and stuff whenever they're in class or whatever okay these are the kids that don't actually have a lot of depth or anything really much going on apart from their identity being what is the most latest and newest trend of all time these guys are just trying to fit in and they're just trying to find their spot and uh they're just shallow because their entire identity is tied to what everyone else thinks is cool at the moment so um these are your validation and attention seekers basically self-image is all that really matters and that's the only thing that's really important to them so um i can't really say much else and yeah, I think I bullied all the classes pretty equally enough, and let me know what you think about this in the comments, if I got the information right, if I got it wrong, if you're noticing a trend or whatnot, and also if you're new and you're playing this game and you somehow found this video and you're like, oh, what should I try and work on and main in ESO? Um, I guess line up your personality with uh, what I talked about in this video, okay? And also for you gamers that are like denying yourself about what your main is and you're like, oh no, I main Templar, when in actuality your like personality matches up with like Dragonite or something, um, go play that class. Watch, watch, watch what happens. Go play that class and watch what happens.
And if you're still watching the video by this point, I want to offer you an invitation into our amazing community. All you got to do is click the subscribe button, and that's all you literally got to do. It's literally free. And if you want to take it a step further, you can join these cool guys right here and become a channel member. There's a link in the description. You click that, and you get some really cool perks, okay? Also, I have a Discord available. If you want to come talk to me in real time, goof off, whatever, it's our little social circle, and you are more than welcome to join, all right? We'd love to have you. And yeah, thank you gamers for watching this video video and have a good night.